Hello friends, today I am going to solve with good problem number 443 sting compression. In this problem, we are given an array of characters and we need to compute um, for each empty string as in the characters. Uh, we are going to find the com consecutive repeating characters, the number of consecutive repeating characters. And if the number is equal to 1, then we append the character to our resulting array. If not, we append the character followed by the length of that group of consecutively repeating characters. But here in this problem, we are said that we uh, have to modify the input array itself. So we are not going to create a new array. We are going to modify the given array and return the resulting length of the new array. So basically, we are going to solve this in a constant space complexity. So now let's look how we could solve this problem. So we are given this array. Um, if we were to compress, we know that we, uh, in the resulting array, we store the character and the count. Since the count is equals to 2 for this group, so we store the count. 2 and then next character is equals to b so we store the character b and then we calculate the count which is also equals to 2 so we store the count 2 and then next we start with c so we store the character c and the count which is equals to 3 so we store the count 3 now suppose we had the number of characters for c that was equals to um 12 let's suppose that there are 12 number of char characters C in a single group. So in that case, we are going to split this character uh, number into two different characters, one and two, and that is what we'll be storing here. So one and two. So this would basically be our resulting array. But now uh, let's look at this example and see how we could approach it um, using so how we could approach it in constant space complexity so basically we start from the first index of the given array and we are also starting from the first index of our resulting array so we we are not uh, make actually creating a new array this is our resulting this is the same array that we have but we are just starting from the first index so that this is the index i and this is also the index of the resulting array so let it be index l so now at index i we have a character a so any character after that should match if it matches then we are going to increment the count so we start from character a and then we move on to the next character so now our index i has shifted here so we move to the next character okay but before that before we do all of these we start at index l right and we ha are at index i so um, at that point uh, we store the value of our current character that is a at index l so we store the value a and then we increment our um, our index of l by one so now our l points to this index so basically um just for the sake of making it look more clear i'll just um point our resulting array here so we have an a already stored here and our index i is now um, at this position now what we do is our count is equals to one at that point right now we move to the next uh index and the value a is same as the value of the character right so our count increases and now it's equals to two now we move to the next index and it's not equal the value is not equal to the value uh, the character a 
so what we do is since the count is equals to 2 we add the character to our array and all of these are um, in our character it's not a number it is a number but it's saved in the form of character and then next in the next step again next iteration um, we have the character b and now we need to find the groups number of counts for character b so we have count one because we are starting here so we have the count one and next step um we our count increases so now our count is equals to two okay but before while we create our new count that is while we create our character variable here we also add it to our resulting array and then our count is now equals to two and then now we move to the next one and now this variable value is not equals to the value at this point right or the the value of p so what we do is we add our count in the form of string and then for character c so now we store our character c in the very in a variable and then we find the count so now count was one account increased to two for this and then again we have one more repeating character so the count for c is equals to three so now the count is equals to three what we do is we store our character c and the count three after that so this would be our resulting array and the length would be uh, represented by the index um, index l that is pointing this l plus one would basically be our resulting index uh, resulting length so now let's solve our problem so we need two indices index i and let index length represents the length of our resulting um, character area after compression now we start from our initial value i and until i is less than the length of the character's array obviously it should be less and we create our new character variable so this is our current character that we are comparing with so characters at index i and then we uh, replace the character at index len and increment that so we replace the value at uh, index len in the characters array with our current character and then we increment the length so now we create our variable count which would be equals to zero and while i is less than um n and while current character is equals to the characters at index i what are we going to do is we are just going to increase the count so we increase the count and we increase the value of the index i so once we have our count we are going to check if count is greater than one then uh, we need to add those counts to our resulting array right we have already added our character to our resulting array now we need to add those counts so first of all we are going to change the count which is an integer to a string okay and then we are going to split the string into a string all into an array of strings and then now for each of the character each of the characters in the count array we are going to um add those characters to our characters array so these characters see the each of the count digit to our characters array all right so once we have done that um we have also been increasing the length right at the same point so 
this will actually give us our result resulting length so what are we doing is we are adding our current character to our characters area at index land land will represent the index so far um, the compressed uh, characters uh, so far the length so we um, add our current character and then if the count is greater we add the count as well by converting it into string and then we keep on doing that until and unless i is less than the correct length of the character so we do that and then we finally get our resulting length now let's run our code okay what's wrong here oh we do not have and defined so that's actually the length of the characters and gth length of the characters array let's run it oopsie so what's wrong here so this is this didn't work the split operation didn't work and why was that count we converted into strings so to string and then split the count now for each character in the count Okay, so we actually need a delimiter for split operation. So that would be an empty um, empty string. Cool, so now we have our result. Let's submit it. Awesome, so the time complexity for this solution would be O of M because we are obviously looping over each of the characters once. So here we are going to each of the character once and every time we are incrementing the count of i. So that would be once for each element and for count. So the count would actually, uh, this for loop would, the maximum length of the for loop would be equals to 4 because the maximum number of characters count can only be 2000. So that would be, this would be constant. So basically our time complexity is O of n and the space complexity is constant.